Every individual wanted to be strong, fit, healthy, happy and energetic. But how to achieve that goal? That is the most important question and that is the topic of today. Hi and welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. Viewers, you always talk about life is beautiful, you are beautiful, you are important and your life is important. And we really mean it. In order to answer all those questions and how to achieve that goal of being strong, energetic, active, healthy, the approach needs to be very simple, straightforward, with simple substitutions, with moderation, in style. Let's come back to our topic. First of all, thank you viewers for your feedback. We have been questions many times that how to live a happy, healthy, long life. Many times, many women have keep on asking us different questions regarding their general well-being. We are fast approaching May 8th, which is Women's Day, which is Mother's Day. We love all our mothers, we love all our women. We'll talk about some serious issues when it comes to women's health. We'll talk about breast cancer. Viewers, we never wanted to limit our audience. We know our audience and our viewers are healthy and they wanted to be fit and energetic. But what about those who are battling with cancer, specifically our women who are struggling with breast cancer issues? In this program, we'll talk about breast cancer types, diagnostic evaluation, and the treatment options available at this time. We always emphasize on the importance of you being checked by your primary care physician. When we talk about healthy lifestyle, primary care physician comes first. You need to be evaluated, you need to be screened, regardless of your gender, men, women, kids, children, everybody needs to be evaluated and checked annually or six monthly by your primary care physician. Exercise, eating properly, stress-free life, these are other important things. First of all, let us talk about some risk factors. Women who are more than 50 years of age, they are at risk of developing breast cancer. Women who have started early menstruation or early menopause, they are at risk of breast cancer. Those women who have positive family history, like first degree relatives, mothers or aunts, they have been diagnosed with breast cancer, they are also increasing the risk of breast cancer. We have to have these women evaluated early on time. Those women who are obese, having increasing intake of alcohol or fat, they are also increasing the risk of breast cancer. Keeping these risk factors in your mind, you have to mention these factors and discuss these factors with your primary care physician on your annual or six monthly checkup. Now we'll move on and we'll talk about what are the prognostic, what are the diagnostic evaluation and what are the tools available? What are the screening tests available? This program is all about your awareness this program is all about your knowledge. You need to get full discussion, full counseling with your doctor, with your primary care physician. Every woman age more than 50 years, this is the recommendation by Preventive Task Force United States 2009 guidelines. They have recommended that every woman crossing 50 years of age needs to be diagnosed needs to be evaluated by yearly or every two years mammogram until they reaches 75 years of age. So this is the recommendation by US Preventive Health Force Task. For those women aging 40 to 49, if they have increasing risk factors, which I have mentioned earlier in my program that they, have, they do have first degree relative, mother or aunt diagnosed with breast cancer or they have obesity, they have increased fat intake or excessive alcohol. 
they need or the most importantly we should never forget if they are on estrogen replacement therapy due to any reason they need to be evaluated or they need to be counseled by their primary care physician about the risks and benefits of mammography viewers this is not something new to you you have heard this many times or you have read this in books about um, all these health related problems and issues uh, which has direct impact in your life in your uh, mental or physical uh, well being but this program is kind of um, refreshing your memories so you would reiterate it and uh, you could discuss or you could be counseled and you need to know uh, like when to be counseled by your primary care physician and when to revisit uh, and schedule an appointment with your primary care physician Viewers, now we'll talk about the most important part of uh, uh, diagnostic evaluation. Like uh, when a woman of uh, any age, like uh, in early 30s or in late 30s or in 40s, they found a mass, a palpable mass in their breast uh, while um, showering or like while taking a bath. If they find a mass, what they need to do? They need to report it immediately uh, to their uh, primary care physician. And in case of uh, diagnosis, what the physician would do? Uh, this is just kind of like an awareness program to you. So you would have uh, a kind of uh, uh, information ahead of time. So the treatment option, which is uh, not the treatment option exactly, it is a kind of diagnostic evaluation which is available is in the form of FNAC, that is fine needle aspiration. And in that we see, is the mass is cystic or solid? If it is cystic, uh, the, the cyst disappears or it has multiple recurrences or the cyst has the fluid which is bloody or uh, clear fluid, it depends. And on that basis, we do uh, mammography and biopsy, which is core or excisional biopsy. But if the cyst is solid and the biopsy has shown that it is malignant, then we do not need to know uh, any further about it. We exactly go back to our treatment plan for the breast cancer treatment options, which I will discuss with you in um, uh, later on. And uh, if we find it suspicious uh, solid mass uh, on biopsy, what we do, we do excisional or core biopsy. It's a kind of an invasive procedure, but uh, do not need to be afraid about it. Uh, it is very common in a type of cancer in women, and we do love our mothers and our women. So we do take care of your health, your mental and physical health. If uh, in case it is benign, it depends like if the age is less than 30 or age is more than 30. If the age is less than 30 years and it is benign, we do uh, mammography, it depends, or uh, observational uh, waitful watching.